Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video series on uh, UFT automation. Um, we will continue our journey around uh, the concepts of object repository and in this video we will look at uh, uh, object repository management in terms of merging comparison. So I have prepped a few object repositories for us to play with uh, in this video. So I have uh, two object repositories, uh, two global object repositories that contain the objects from the login screen and uh, two more object repositories that contains uh, objects from the reservation screen. I kind of manually made few changes so that we can uh, see um, uh, how we can use these tools to identify those differences. So I'm going to use uh, those tools are you know you need to go into object repository manager and we'll first start with comparison to tools comparison tool object repository comparison then you get this uh, you know uh, window and a dialog box where you can uh, where you can pick two files and compare. So I will we'll start with the login01 and then go here pick login02 open do OK and the system does the thing for you there are six identical objects one object unique to second file on this side we'll figure out which one and then it says two test objects with the uh, identical description and uh, different names so here that does not exist OK exists so there's OK button here but there's no OK button here help button has a different text in there agent name has a different text in there the agent name here has a colon at the end but on the left hand side it doesn't have a colon there's nothing you can do uh, uh, with the object repositories using the comparison tool you can only compare you cannot merge here and all these icons let you you know kind of uh, uh, look at the stats you know move around here within the uh, objects and you can start a total new comparison using you know this first icon or you can do file uh, new comparison and then let's go pick another one flight reservation screen one and two do OK 44 identical but there are two unique objects to second file so flight number it does not exist on the first one and the uh, flight number it's not in our first file the one so all you can do here is compare so there's nothing uh, more to it so now that we know that there are little differences let's see if we can merge them file sorry tools object repository uh, merge tool once we have this let's uh, okay we already have uh, um, o login 01 and login 02 click OK and then let's see two test objects with identical descriptions and different names go to the first clown flick to speak to OK okay what, what did it do with the first one uh, help button the the text is help button but on the secondary file it's help and it took the description from the first one you can actually pick the second button if you want second radio button here then look at here it picked the description from the secondary file but if you do the first radio button it, it will pick the description from the first file so the next uh, conflict is the agent name within the agent name the problem is there is a, a colon in the secondary file but in the first file there's no colon and we are using the primary file that's what this one is next conflict is help button and that's it you know, those are the only two conflicts let us go ahead and do a merge here if I do save then I get this uh, so this is a merge on the left hand side that's a merged version of the primary and the secondary file that you see on the right hand side so let me give uh, some meaningful name 0 one underscore zero two underscore I'll say merge 
let's do uh, another merge real quick we'll pick a reservation screens and let's see so it says no conflicts found so the reason why it said no conflicts found is that said two unique objects added to the sec added from the secondary file so zero unique objects in the primary so there were no objects that were unique to the first file or the primary file but for the secondary there were two unique objects and for there were 44 objects that were a same in both the files that's what this means and do ok and you can see this is the file that came from the second file and this came from the second file as well and this number you can see it here number two at the top and there's number one here so once we have this so uh, we can merge it we do click save and we can say o1 underscore o2 underscore merged open done so now the whole thing is merged and we can do file open if we go to our first one, oh, let, let me do a, one more merge real quick. File, sorry, resources, object repository manager, tools, merge tool. This time though, I'm going to compare the merged version of the login screen and the merged version of the reservation screen. Now, if you do uh, uh, this thing, if you compare, I mean, both the objects or both the object repositories have objects from totally different screen. So the first one that I picked had a login screen, and the second one it has a flight reservation screen. So if I merge both, now I have an object repository that had now it has both the screens, login screen and the flight reservation, because I would you know rather have this than you trying to use both the object repositories again you know it depends it's a preference and also depending on um, your situation you may end up using two separate uh, separate object repositories but i just want to show that you know when you have different screens in different object repositories you can just merge them like this but you know you can you can only merge two at a single at any given point of time so once you have this you can take this merged file and merge with a different object repository as well so now that i have these two i'll hit save and i will say flight reservation i'll say screens because it has all the screens save i'm done i'll close this and these have uh, no object repositories they're all local i will do um file I'm in the manager by the way uh, but file open and I'll do uh, I'll pick the one you know uh, screens that's the one that we just merged you open it now we have all this you know objects from both the screens that's a you know interesting part here now that I know I have all the screens there I'll close this and then go here right click here and do I'm sorry here you know instead of doing each action uh, let me go ahead and do from here uh, resources associate repositories this is to a reservation of one I'll just kill that open the one that we just created and I'm gonna do all okay now with that uh, you can pick any action you like go to resources object repository and then you know this is non-editable mode and you can you know you have access to I mean you can see these object repositories and I mean to say the objects in the object repository then this is shared object repository by the way you can see that here that's a path that's object repository that it is linked to okay uh, so that's it about merging and comparing object repositories it comes real handy in the field when you actually work with applications because uh, 
when you do these regression testing and you get uh, updates from applications you know from the application team and uh, you know and if your whole framework is driven by a shared repository then you that these two tools will be your friend because you can compare and you see a difference you can merge right so I hope uh, you all enjoyed this video I will see you in the next video